multimedia textbooks, physics. This CD is a multimedia physics textbook. It contains a number of multimedia elements aimed at making learning physics easier and more pleasant for the student. Additional elements are designed to bring the subject of physics closer to the student with the result that the oft-repeated words, I don't like physics, will be heard less often. Let's try to like physics. The list of authors, a theoretical introduction common to all such textbooks. However, this physics textbook contains a number of elements not found in other textbooks. For example, windows with commentaries. These open when the cursor is placed on a formula. Clicking on a number presents the formula, which is located somewhere in the text. The next elements that enrich the material are interactive graphic illustrations. An example of such an interactive graphic illustration is the graph which illustrates certain relationships and functions. These relationships, graphs and illustrations, change when the student changes the values in the tables, thus demonstrating the function described in the formula. While reading the lesson material, we come across a subsection, demonstrations from the lecture hall. In these demonstrations from the lecture hall, we see the principle of conservation of angular momentum. This principle of conservation of angular momentum is demonstrated by Hanya spinning on a rotating chair which is set spinning. When Hanya moves the weights closer to her body, her moment of inertia is reduced, and angular velocity is increased so as to conserve her angular momentum. Among the additional materials in the physics textbook are experiments recorded which were done at home. For example, such an experiment can be one done in the bathroom using the shower hose and water. Let's take a look at this experiment. I might just add that this was recorded by the professor himself using a non-professional camera. These films generally have a soundtrack. We can see how the shape of the parabola changes in relation to the angle of the hose. Students can check this themselves in a bathroom. Other experiments are also presented in this series that can be done at home. For example, the watermelon experiment. The strings behave differently depending on whether Kasia pulls them sharply or slowly. And we can check this ourselves at home. We can also see what this experiment looked like when Kasia performed it.
So Kasia tugged on the string, breaking it, while the watermelon remained suspended and intact. Now, when she pulled the lower string slowly, there, it broke. Other experiments at home are filmed as well. Hammering a nail into a board, pulling a cloth out from under a bowl, an experiment into the well-known waiter's trick, an experiment with a spool, with thread, which, when pulled in different ways, causes the spool to rotate. We can check to see what two sheets of paper will do when air is blown between them, under conditions in the home, doing the appropriate experiment. This can also be predicted theoretically. Answer before beginning the demonstrations. Will the sheets of paper move toward or away from each other? With regular textbooks, we cannot include interactive illustrations. Illustrations that allow the student to modify the graphs presented in a direct and planned manner, and which allow immediate testing of the accuracy of such changes permit the student to answer questions linked to a specific example or subject without performing additional functions. Let's take a real example. Tests involving Lisa Zhu figures pose questions which require the use of interactive illustrations to answer. Here is such an illustration, which also becomes active during the lesson and which can be found in the lecture on harmonic motion. This illustration is one which is useful for a whole range of problems with which engineers are very often faced. Students really like looking at various patterns on the monitor when doing experiments with electrical circuits because they are pretty, interesting, and the images clearly translate to electrical connections. This is not as good because we don't have an experiment which involves a specific electrical circuit and electrical current, but we can change the shapes which we see on this graph. In a coordinate system, with an x and y axes, we see illustrated a graph which results from the addition and summing of two functions described by appropriate formulas. We can alter the shape of the graph by changing the values in the fields highlighted in green, these numerical values. I've changed the value here, though I had to calculate the new value quickly in my head. There's a little rule required here that angles be expressed in radians. So I had to convert it quickly and I still made a mistake with the decimal point. These detailed instructions are found in the section on how to use the interactive graph in order to obtain the desired effect. Posługiwania się, wykorzystania takiej 
ilustracji, żeby uzyskać odpowiednie efekty. Ale jak widać, na początku... As we can see, at first we had a rather complicated figure presented in the graph. Now the graph shows a straight line. When we select the appropriate parameters in these functions, the graph appears as a straight line. The same effect can be achieved on an oscilloscope. Lesson 12 concerns the statistics of thermal motion, and we can examine the random examples of particles or dots dispersing in two parts of a container. This involves the use of an interactive illustration which shows the various behaviors of various numbers of particles in two parts of a container. At first, we see the random arrangement when we are dealing with 1,000 such particles. There can be different random distributions for a smaller number of particles. Let's try 10 particles. Let's distribute 10 particles in the box made up of two halves. How will they be distributed? May look like this, with 10 blue dots. They have distributed themselves in this box randomly, without our interference. On one side, the right side, there are three, and on the left side, there are seven. Together, there are ten particles, just as we wanted, by entering the number ten here. We can change the number of particles, or we can see how these ten will distribute themselves in the entire container. In accordance with the instructions, we press the F10 key. And now, after another random distribution, we see that we have three particles on one side and seven on the other. Now we have four, six, four, six, five, five, finally equality. Now we see something that is mentioned in the notes. This is like choosing four winning numbers in the lottery. An improbable situation. Ten particles in one part of the container and none in the other. Everyone always waits for this to happen. And it did for us so quickly. This is quite by chance, because no one interfered in this experiment. Of course, this experiment is theoretical. Another example might be the animated diesel cycle, an illustration of the changes that take place one after another as a result of the processes that are involved in the operation of a diesel engine. The cycle starts at state 1, described by parameters P1, V1, T1, and then moves through states 2, 3, and 4, and returns to the starting state, as in cyclical processes. These are moving graphs, and so in a way show how such a graph is formed. Because these processes move through time, this effect of time is incorporated, though greatly magnified. The engine operates much faster than the time shown in this diagram illustrating the process. As with every textbook, we often need to remember a formula, a fragment of a problem, or an illustration, or a graph. 
In order to quickly solve a problem, we have commentary windows, which open with a simple click of the mouse, or by clicking a formula, or appropriate comment. And so we open a window with formula number 8.1.a from the lesson on gravitation. This figure located on another page can also be recalled from memory with one click of the mouse without the need to flip pages. This solution has been applied wherever necessary. As with many textbooks in the Warsaw Polytechnic series of multimedia textbooks, audio commentaries have been recorded to ease contact between the author and the student, to somehow bring them closer, make them more familiar, and thus encourage students to study. When I tell my students about this, I use the following anecdote. Mountain man tells a tourist heading into the Tatras. That man you see there, it's 100 million years and three weeks old. More curious about the three weeks than the 100 million years, the tourist asks, how do you know with such accuracy? Sure I do. Exactly three weeks ago, there was a professor here who said that that mountain was 100 million years old. Actually, the mountain man was right. Three weeks had indeed passed. And yet, draw your own conclusion. If students don't have speakers or choose not to listen to these commentaries, they can read the commentaries on the screen, for they are located there as well. In this textbook, we have test questions on the topics of motion and heat. Prior to taking the exam, you can check your knowledge by doing these, by taking these practice tests at home. Test questions are found in many subjects, including physics. Everyone should practice various methods of answering test questions in order to acquire skill and ability, not in one subject area, but overall. Overall, in solving these types of problems, that's the key. Translated and narrated by Roger Domogalski.